Hello guys, welcome to All Access Media. I have an update on Cardi B Offset and his baby mama Shala Lamore. So it seems like she responded to Cardi B disrespecting her on an Instagram post. I'm gonna let you guys hear that. But first I'm gonna let you guys hear this clip. And this all started, I'm guessing, because Shyla Shia asked for some more child support because the coronavirus and she said she's not able to provide for herself and her two kids. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys listen to Cardi B's clip and then I'm gonna let you guys listen to Offset's baby mama's clip. Hate on your life. They hate on your marriage. They don't want they don't wanna see you happy at all. They don't they don't even give a f about they don't really give a f about trying to destroy your career. They really wanna destroy your marriage, destroy your happiness. And it's just like, babe, I'm glad, and me and my man was just talking about it, like, I'm just glad that it's like, I know that a lot of people see the problems that me and Austin had before, you know, it ain't no secret, and I'm just glad that we are in a point in our life and in our marriage that we have grew with each other, we have grown, we have learned each other. We talk to each other. We have literally become, it's more than a marriage. It's more than passion, right? It's more like a, like a best friend thing. Like we just talk to each other. We just talk to each other more. We honest with each other all the time. We love each other. We support each other. And it's just like, we be laughing at together. <laughs> and y'all bitches really be trying it. Y'all really be trying it. Y'all y'all really thought y'all was gonna catch motherfuckers slipping on this side. And you wanna know what's so sad about it? What babe, what we was talking about? Like it's like these are not young These are not bitches in their twenties. These are grown ass mid thirty ass and it's just like yo, I can never I, I, I pray to God that I never have that type of hatred, that type of pettiness. That type of corniness, that type of time in my heart when I'm a little bit older. I don't, first of all, I'm not even like that right now. I'm not even like that right now because when you try to destroy something, that's when karma hits. You don't want to know something. Sometimes you could, sometimes you could, you could have a certain type of beef and animosity on people, right? And that's because y'all don't get along with each other. But when you try to destroy things when you try to hurt things on purpose not just because you have to but on purpose you know sometimes you really gotta you really gotta get to the enemy before they get to you but when you try to do something on purpose oh and this is not about an artist and this and that because y'all know y'all be weird and shit. when you try to do things on purpose god god really punish y'all but but the way that i be seeing how you be living I see it. He do be punishing y'all. That's why y'all bitches living how y'all living. That's why you bitches living how y'all living. Because y'all are malicious. Y'all have a dirty black heart. Y'all got a f***ed up heart. And y'all really tried it. Y'all really f***ing tried it. Y'all really tried the, oh, I'm going to have my slide on her nigga DM. Ha! Huh? F*** out of here. Take a f*** that, bitch. Y'all is some weirdos. Y'all, y'all really have some crusty, crunchy, dirty ass heart. And y'all really, y'all really need to pray. Y'all really need to act. Y'all need to ask God. Yes, the live is like a couple of weeks old, but she was still referring to Offset's baby mama in the live. So that's why I posted it anyways. Shia Lamore says that she's tired of being disrespected by Offset. Well, she's tired of being disrespected by Cardi B because Cardi B said that she was going to smack her. So Shia said that she's tired of taking the disrespect and she's going to come out with some receipts. So that's when she showed text messages of Offset still trying to sleep with her, even though him and Cardi B had just just gotten married to be honest i just feel like that's kind of fraud because you just got with this woman and you still trying to sleep with your baby mama which makes no sense so anyways shia decided to put a video on instagram and the caption was real btv don't talk to the blogs behind the scenes trying to spin the narrative and think i'm not going to speak my truth them days over with and this ain't got nothing to do with him or all differences that will be settled in court this is about my respect period i let y'all slide for too long 
You was literally begging and blowing up my phone to see receipts of 2018, so I showed you. So now it's kind of making sense. Shia posted them receipts on Instagram because Cardi B asked. But the only thing is, Cardi B did not ask her to post them on Instagram for the world to see. She just wanted to know if Offset was cheating on her when they first got married. And that answer is yes. And I just feel bad because this woman is married to him. And she's going to have to deal with him. They have a child together. So she's going to have to deal with him for the rest of her life. Just like Shia. The only difference is they are married. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to drag this on. I'm going to let you go ahead and listen to what Shia had to say to Cardi B. Y'all think that I didn't try to come to this woman privately. I came to her privately and respectfully. And she still come with a disrespect talk about she going to smack me. Oh, this is your second time threatening me. It's your second time threatening me. I'm done trying to save face for me. And they're disrespectful and stupid, bro. I came to you respectful. It's like talking to a Wow, man, these people slow. Women supposed to stick together knowing that these men be on the BS. And I spared you. I spared you back then. But let me not even act like it was for you. It was really for me based on my morals and how I move and, and my principles. So I'm not even going to act like it was for you, but... Why do you feel like somebody owe you something? Why do you feel so entitled? I don't owe you shit. I never owed you nothing. Well, this is my last time speaking on this shit, like ever, ever. Like I'm never trying to go back here. But you got me fucked up if you think you're going to disrespect me, keep threatening me, and I'm not going to speak my truth. You're going to have me looking crazy. Say what you want to. Spin the narrative however you want to, but I don't get to speak my piece. Nah, them days are over, baby. And I'm done trying to save face. I'm done trying to be politically politically correct. It's over with. So you guys heard what Shia had to say. Basically, she said she's tired of taking the disrespect from Cardi B. And a lot of people was in the comments saying, why are you coming for Cardi B and not him? You the one that laid down with him. And I'm guessing the amount she receives in child support is 2300 because that's the number I kept seeing in the comment. So here are a couple of the comments that I've seen. Somebody said she got history of threatening people and getting beat up. They're talking about Cardi B. And somebody else also said, it's not you, it's her. This is her pattern. She blames the women and not him. Fight for support in court and leave her alone. Please be careful because she might have you attacked. Someone also said, this is why people throw the baby daddies away. This stuff stressful enough to make you grind it the F out. My only issue with this is that she has another daughter. Yes, we know she has one with Offset. But she also has an older daughter that's with someone else, of course. But it's like, we don't hear about you suing your other baby daddy for more money because you're not able to work or whatever it is due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We're not hearing nothing about that. We're hearing about Offset. So is Offset the only parent that can provide for your daughter and your other daughter at this point because that's what i'm thinking like you can't ask your other baby daddy oh hey i need some extra money to take care of this blase blase but you gotta go talk to offset of course because he's the millionaire he's the one with the money it's like yes he has it i understand like yeah he got the money so he can give you the money because you need it Anyways, moving on from that, I want to talk about the Offset still trying to sleep with her situation even though he had just got married to Cardi B. That is fraud and I really do feel bad for Cardi B because your husband is not supposed to do that, especially when y'all newlyweds. It's like y'all just got married and he telling his baby mama, oh, let me just hit one more time because, you know, I'm about to be married. I'll never be able to do it again. Blase, blase. What kind of husband says anything like that? You are newlywed and this is what you're thinking about. But we already know that Offset cheated before they was married. So what's, what's going to make him stop cheating because you are married? So anyways, Cardi B say her and Offset relationship is stronger now because they didn't move past his infidelity issues because everybody of course knows about them. We all know that Offset cheated on Cardi B in the past, but she said they worked through their issues, you know, he's not cheating no more, they understand each other, and things of that sort. I just hope that is true because the text messages that Shia did show were from 2018 and it's 2020 so hopefully Offset is a changed man even though I seen that video of Offset hiding his phone he was playing a game so you guys let me know what you think about this situation in the comments section do you think Shia should ask her other baby daddy for more money because I think so too why are you only asking Offset because 2300 is more than enough I'm just gonna be honest a lot of people saying oh that's not enough but it's like if you're a working mother you should have your own money 
and if you have another child i'm pretty sure you're getting child support from that child so you should have enough like 2300 should be enough it should be added on to whatever you're making you're not supposed to just be dependent on that 2300 dollars child support chick so anyways you guys let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section also make sure you like share subscribe and also hit the notification bell and when you hit the notification bell make sure you hit all the way you can get all the notifications that way you can see all of my videos thanks for watching